things that you think about when you get up in the morning. What are your goals? Forget just passing. That's, okay, yes, we all want to pass and get our degree, but what are you doing next? What's coming next? What are you working for? What do you want to achieve? By using these things, this is how you're going to create your own personal brand. Um, and I guess my point is, is if you don't know your purpose, if I don't ask you what is your purpose and you don't have an answer like that, then how do you know what direction you're going in life? How do you know the decisions that you are making are leading you in the direction of your goals? How do you know? You don't know who you are. Got to. <laughs> um, people ask me all the time, how do I have time to do all the things I do? Um, for those, some of you do know me, some of you don't. Um, you know, I'm a fifth semester, very active in SCAVMA. Uh, I get up every morning at like 4 a.m. I have my extracurricular activities. I'm very dedicated to my education. Um, and people always ask me, how do you have time to do all these things? And I always, I feel like my goals tell me what to do. My goals tell me what time to get up in the morning. My goals tell me who to hang out with. My goals tell me what to do and what to focus on every single day. My goals and my purpose are what tell me that. So you may be asking, okay, that's great and all, but what if I don't know what my brand is? What if I don't know who I am? It's possible. I was just like that. And um, where you should begin is, is you're going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to promise you you're going to do this tomorrow. You're going to wake up first thing in the morning. You're going to use the restroom. You're going to get your favorite morning beverage, and you're going to get a little snack. And you're going to get old school piece of paper with a pen. And you're going to sit somewhere quiet. And you're going to sit there and write five words that describe yourself. And don't think about it too much. The point is this should be a natural, it's just your natural impulse is what you're looking for. Don't overthink it. Because the point is that if you want to believe, you have to believe in it if you want other people to believe in it. So don't try to create too much outside of what you really truly are. Um, so then you're going to write five words that describe your ideal self. Where do you want to be? What do you want to improve on? What do you see yourself in the future? Um, and then you're going to ask your close relatives or friends, I mean very close to you that knows you, and ask them to write five words to describe you and give it to you. Once you have these lists, you're going to look at it, you're going to look for similarities, and what's funny is you're going to find common themes. There's going to be common things amongst, because people see your gifts even though you don't. I see all of your gifts. The people that I know, I know exactly what your gifts are, just like you probably know what my gifts are that I may not know. Um, so once you narrow down that list, try to keep it to a min, like five or a little bit more. That's your brand. And once you have your brand, what you say to yourself, every single decision you make, every Facebook post you have, every Instagram post you have, everything you do, every activity you join, every club you're a part of, you say, does this match my brand? Is this who I am? Is this the image that I want to create? Is this the person that I want to be? And you ask yourself that question, you say yes, then do it. And that will help you have a, a general direction towards your goals and what your purpose is overall. So what do I want for you guys to do? You're not going to do this just once. Once you identify your goals and, and, and your brand, yes, you'll do that one time, maybe tweak it. But every single morning, I want you to sit down and take that five minutes. You have five minutes every morning to just write, what are my goals and what is my purpose? This may change over time, but you are going to physically write that down because rewriting it over and over again is how you are going to make yourself believe it. Even if you don't believe it now, you will believe it. You keep writing that thing over weeks. You will believe it. You're going to live every single day with that in mind. You're going to start that day off with that goal in mind, and everything you do is going to reflect that. You are going to be people who live your life with a defined purpose. It's okay if it changes, but you are going to have a general direction that you are always going to be going into. This is exactly why you are here. And I don't mean here at Ross. I mean here on this planet. This is why you're here. All of us come here, and all of us are born with this um, desire to have a purpose. We all want to do something with our lives. You need to identify it and work towards it every single day. Make changes. Make a lot of changes. I have made a ton of changes. You guys just being here, you're not the room I should be talking to because us just being here is a huge change for most of us. Um, it's a huge step in the right direction. Break rules. Maybe not the law, but break a lot of rules. I never ever accept anything as an answer. I break rules all the time. It's okay. 
we aren't made to all fit in this one box and just be the same to each other. Like, that's not the spice of life. It's not how you're going to get things done. Don't let other people dictate things for you. You live to your purpose and stay true to you. Never, ever, ever, ever accept no as an answer. I'm going to say it again. It's not an answer. It's your opinion. It's somebody else's opinion about you. Who cares? You figure it out anyway. There is always a way. If you are passionate about what you want to do, there is always, always a way to get it done. Always. Be very flexible about how you obtain your goals. I didn't follow the cookie cutter route. I'm sure many other people at this university didn't. That's not a big deal. Just because you don't fit some mold or some traditional path that you're supposed to take to get things done doesn't mean anything. Just be flexible. Just keep that goal at the end of the road. But it doesn't matter how you get there as long as you get there. And have fun along the way. Um, I think the most important thing is, is to enjoy life. Because the truth is, is that for a long time, many of us really just wanted to get the best school. We just wanted to get the best school, get into best school, get into best school. And what happened? We got in. Okay, now we have a whole new set of goals. The beauty of it is that every time you achieve or reach one of your goals, you're going to have hundreds lined up behind it. And that's what's fun. That's why you should make it fun. Don't stress about it. Just enjoy it while it's happening. So, who am I really? Um, this is my list. I'm sure it's subject to change or tweak at some point, but it's pretty much my core values. Um, I'm giving it a lot of thought, and this is what I write to myself every day. Uh, I am passionate. I am determined. I am successful. I am inspired. I believe in the good of others. I believe in the good of our world. I'm creating a culture of change. I am helping others to see the power they possess. I am a leader. I am a visionary. And I will make a difference in this life. What you don't know is that some of those actually are true. And some of those I just believe about myself and I'm waiting for them to come true. Um, but I relate it in a way that you're probably like, yeah, I see it. I see it. <laughs> um, so I may not know who all of you are, but I do know that you have a purpose. You do. You, each and every single one of you, have a very distinct purpose and a strong drive to get it done. And you were created.